Hi, this is Rebecca Coleman for The Art of the Business, and today I'm going to show you how to use, um, how to install, and how to use a third-party app to run a contest on your Facebook page. Um, the one that I use is called Shortstack. I think it's a really cool little app. There's a couple other ones around that are also uh, uh, quite useful. I've heard Woobox is actually pretty good. Uh, some of my clients use that. I'm just going to show you how, first of all, to install it on your page. So what you want to do is you want to come up here in the search bar and you want to type in short stack. And what you'll notice is uh, these are pages for bands. You don't want those. Um, you want this one right here that says app. Uh, and what you want to do is click on that. So when you uh, click on that link, it takes you here to this page, which is the short stack app page on Facebook and what you want to do is you want to click on visit website and now it's going to ask my permission uh, to manage my pages and also it's going to ask permission to uh, be attached to my own personal account you have to do that according to Facebook's terms of services okay and now, what it's going to allow me to do next is it's now going to allow me to actually create tabs here inside Shortstack. And inside Shortstack, after I created the tab, it's going to do it for me and create all the HTML for me and all that kind of stuff. And after it's done that, then it's going to allow me to publish it onto my Facebook page. So I'm going to create um, a, a contest right now and I'm going to create that contest for my own personal Facebook page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get people to go into a draw for my new book that I just released last week. Um, and now you get, you've got a couple of options here. You can create a blank tab from scratch or you can create a tab from a template which is what I'm going to do. Um, a lot of, there's a lot of free options in here which are really cool. Um, and then there are some options that you can upgrade and pay more for, uh, depending on sort of what you want um, and kind of what you want it to look like. Um, but there are lots of really cool um, tabs that you can include in here. So, for example, you could do uh, you could include a Pinterest tab if you want. Um, there are some that you have to pay for the upgrade, um, and then there are some that you can still use for free. I'm going to choose the uh, create a blank tab uh, option. I'll just show you how to create something from scratch. It's not that terribly complicated. So I'm going to click on create a blank tab and then I'm going to call my tab new book contest. And I'm going to create that. And now what this allows me to do is this allows me, these are all different things that I can just add to my tab, which is really cool. Okay, so now that I've created my uh, tab for my page, um, here it is. I just created a really simple tab for my page. I threw a, a few widgets in there. There's an image at the very top of my book. There's a, a text widget that explains what the contest is about. The actual contest application is this one here, and then I threw in a couple of um, a like box at the end and something to invite people to like the page as well if they want to. Now that I'm finished uh, creating my tab, what I want to do next is I want to install the tab on my Facebook page. So what you want to do is you want to come up here and you want to click on install tab. And it's going to ask you, you've got a couple of options here, and I'm going to click on this one, choose Quick Publish. Um, and then it's what it's doing right now is it's just generating the list of all of the pages that I administrate on Facebook. There's a lot of them. I'm just going to scroll down through them until I find, oh, mine, which is right here, the art of the business, and then I'm going to click on Install. Great. So next step is to go into Facebook and have a look at what the page looks like. 
So when you scroll down, what you'll notice is underneath your cover image and beside your about information, you'll see a bunch of boxes here. Each one of these is a different app. And when you pull down this arrow beside the app, what you'll notice is there's now been a tab that's installed in here. It's called New Tab 1. Obviously, we don't want it to be called that because nobody's going to know that that's what it is. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to rename that tab. And then the next thing we'll need to do is we'll need to actually move it um, to a place where people will be able to see it. In order to rename the tab, you have to come up to the admin panel and click on edit page, click on update info, and then over here in your main left hand menu, you're going to see one of the options will be apps. So you want to click on that. And this is going to show you all the apps that you've installed on your page. When you scroll down, you'll see it says custom tab one. We want to click on is edit settings and you want to change it to uh, contest or something like that. You don't have a lot of space here, um, so I'm going to make it be book contest and click on save and click on OK. And now uh, when we go back to our page and we look at our page and we pull down these apps. Now it's called Book Contest. Yay, that's what we want. Now the second thing that you would need to do is you would need to upload some kind of an image to here because this, whatever this is, is very nondescript. So ideally you want to put something in there that people will be able to uh, interpret as being something uh, that's associated with that contest. So again, the admin panel, edit page, update info, uh, apps, and go down to the app and again we want to edit the settings and what you want to do is it says custom tab image and you want to click on change and you want to click on change again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find my um, uh, an image of the cover of my book and I'm going to put that in So here's a, a thumbnail that I made for it. And there it is. And so now when you go out and look at your page and you look at your um, at that app, what you'll see is the image of my book on that particular um, app.